the worst thing I've seen in a while. This ferry is ridiculously full. You climb like a monkey. <laughs> road. Felt quite remote at times, I didn't know where we were going. And then we turned up and this is the view. I think it might be quite nice here. Drove for an hour and then as we got to the hotel there was some really loose gravel and Simon managed to crash the motorbike, the scooter like a dickhead. Yeah. First impressions of La Omaha? Very good. Yeah. Room, obviously. And then, sunset view. see myself spending some time out here oh, right where I cut my foot and it gets better this <laughs> what sunset could be quite good here Oh, might even have myself a beer. This is, ah, well, you can see for yourselves. Getting over here, the drive was quite remote, actually. There wasn't, I mean, we went past people washing their clothes in the river, which was 
I guess you'd call it rural. You know, schools with goalposts in their fields made of, you know, a branch with a wire at the top and they just plonk another branch on top. So, I've heard the spaces like La Fortuna in Costa Rica, but it feels much more remote than that. It's so far, bloody lovely. There's a mountain in, well, a volcano, which is what Ometepe is known for. Cannot wait for sunset. Unfortunately, there's some cloud, but it's not too bad. adapters are like gold dust plug adapter that is uh, I lost my plug adapter and my backup one which is why my beard is feral and disgusting just haven't been able to charge my shaver so I've had to buy a new one and I'm now going to tidy myself up a bit and there we are still looks like a child's beard the agua. It's a, it's a natural spring-fed pond and lake. Very peaceful. It's fresh water. It's slightly colder. Looks very relaxing. This guy's got the right idea. A pair of speedos and some swimming goggles. Oh yeah. <laughs> this might be the nicest natural swimming pool I've ever been to. You're just surrounded by vegetation, <laughs> plants, <laughs> an idiot. And then the water's just fresh spring water. I don't know what more you could ask for. It's like really blue and green. I don't know, it must be 70 or 80 meters long. So if this was your local swimming pool, wish I'd brought my goggles. Just do some, do some laps. Got some swings to sit on, a rope swing at the end. Peaceful place. So we're at Kayak Beach, no. <laughs> So we're at Mango Beach, which is on the south side of the small volcano, Maderas, I think. You go kayaking down a river, apparently you can see turtles, maybe even a caiman. That would be cool. $15 each. Yeah, I'd love to see a, a caiman. Never seen one. Two hour tour perfect just before sunset.
there's two volcanoes on Ometepe. There's Concepcion and Maderas. Concepcion is about 1600 meters. Maderas is 1400 meters. And we are doing Maderas. Not because it's smaller, but because the entrance to the climb is 200 meters from our hotel. And Concepcion is sort of arid. Once you get above a certain height, it's just rocks and sand, whereas this has got jungle the whole way and a lake on the top. So 45 minutes of farmland first. With Uriel and his machete. <laughs> and then we'll start the climb proper. So this tree is called Guasimo. And they soak this in, in water for, for a week or 10 days and then they make white paint out of it. Uriel knows his shit. So we've set off at 6.30 in the morning, purely to keep the heat down, but already sweating out to 20 minutes. This is going to be warm. So all of this is coffee, coffee plantation. It's pretty cool. It's not all that steep, it's just so humid. There we are. So we've reached 700 meters in altitude halfway, and there's a little kind of lookout spot, but it's quite cloudy. Suddenly got a lot steeper, and my sweat is out of control. Looking out, you should usually see the volcano, but you can't. So we made it out of the rainforest and into the cloud forest, and it's steep. Sort of scrambling up the last two, three hundred meters. This guy is like a mountain goat. Not phased at all. Cloud forest means views are limited, but steep drop off. Quite glad it's cloudy. If it was sunny, it would be way too hot. It's quite steep. There's one article saying that people said this was the hardest thing they've ever done, <laughs> which seems a bit of a stretch, but certainly not like a walk in the park. We have been scrambling for about 500 meters now. Peaceful, cloudy. 200 meters more to the top and the howler monkeys are still going. <laughs> Let's go to the top. So the last 200 meters are like this. Let's see how we do it. Okay. And we made it to the top. Check out the view. <laughs> There's no view. Down there is the is the crater lake, but you can't see shit. <laughs> yeah, you can usually see uh, the bigger volcano, Concepcion, and the lake, but you can't see anything. But it's quite nice. It's nice and cool. That last hour was a real scramble. And we're back in Jurassic Park, it seems. Look at this.
And now we're in a swamp. I feel like the horse in Never Ending Story. Kind of drown in a swamp. Ugh. Oh, it smells. So at the top of a volcano, 1,400 meters, and there's a turtle. <laughs> what the hell is that thing doing up here? A, a, ter a terrapin turtle? I don't know. Are you supposed to pick it up? I don't know if that's legit. How did it get up here? Just chilling. See you later, little buddy. Walking down, I'll fall over. God damn it. Ugh. No, 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 mucho. No, 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 mucho. No, no, Poquito, poquito. Yeah. That's why We're pretty much just walking down a stream to get back. We're going the other side of the volcano, so it's a bit gentler. Easier on the knees. <laughs> At these points, it's like we've got three hours to get down. The entertainment is wearing thin. <laughs> Probably don't do them in your fancy Nike white trainers. <laughs> Bear moment. I mean, they still work as a trainer. Oh. Back down into the heats now. Only about an hour to go, if that. Ooh. If you're a sweaty piggy like me, bring lots of water. I have found some monkeys. And he is the king, I think, yeah? He's been throwing branches at us. <laughs> Little bastard. Because we've gone down the other side of the volcano, we're gonna get a, like a local bus five kilometers back to the hotel and then that'll be day over and finally made it out of the rainforest jungle type terrain and the cloud has cleared you can see the other volcano those are white at the beginning of the day <laughs> got 35 minutes till the bus leaves and we're about 35 minutes away so Started to pick up the pace a bit. Race to the bus. <laughs> Coming to the end. Look at Uriel, he looks like he's been out for a stroll. Oh my god. Nothing, and I look like I've <laughs> crawled through a pigsty. Doesn't even have any socks on. <laughs> no socks, no nothing. <laughs> I feel like a bit of a fool now. <laughs> we missed it. We missed the bus. <laughs> I don't have any money on me. What are we gonna do? <laughs> Maybe we can hitchhike. <sighs> What's that done? It's pretty muddy. And what was that Six. just over seven hours? It's probably seven to nine hours. Not the hardest thing I've ever done, but certainly not the easiest. You spend a good two or three hours ducking and diving and weaving and trying to get through swampy patches, some really steep bits. That's about it, I'm shattered. So we walked a little bit, hitchhiked a little bit, and just finishing off the final kilometer. Uriel is hitchhiking back there. He kindly let me go first. But on a more somber note, I was talking to him about wages. 
he gets paid in his normal gardening job 20 US dollars a week which isn't a lot so the whole the whole day cost me 30 dollars which I'm more than happy to pay probably give him a bit more I won't say how much more that's probably a bit crass but I think I don't have the answer for it I don't know what you should do but bear in mind that people are living off not a lot here although he was very much of the opinion that he is rich and that he has the mountain he has the lake and a lot of the people around here he doesn't like to buy or sell stuff he, he, he was saying in the Gambia which I imagine is you trade stuff so he's saying that if you have some rice and somebody has some beans or eggs or meat um, that you just trade which is not what happens in Europe <laughs> yeah back back at the hotel long day legs are tired knees are a bit stiff I am very glad it wasn't really sunny because it would have been incredibly hot especially in the rainforest the cloud forest you just get wet just everything is soaking wet wish I'd been able to see the lake wish I'd been able to see the other volcano but I don't have enough time had to do it today and yeah do the big one do the small one apparently the small one is better because it's not that much smaller and there's more jungle and more wildlife whereas the other one's just after a certain altitude rock and sand and you'll get hella sunburn I think if you're in Ometepe and you are of sound body then you should probably do it if you don't like walking then definitely don't do it because I got bored after four hours <laughs> once you get to the top you're like please get me to the bottom but you have nothing but your legs I'll call it there I have never seen this. A chicken with pink chicks. Check out this. That must be a mistake. They must have dyed them or something. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, this is the next morning, if that wasn't clear. Hey, Sam. Ready to go kayaking. Thank <laughs> you.